So today we are working on the Polaris Razor 800. It's a 24 volt made by Peg Perigo. And we are going to be looking at the charging system, replacing it with something that makes much more sense. Um, if you're familiar with the unit, it has a seat. And you have to take and unscrew this, lock back the seat, take that screw out, take that screw out, and slide it backwards to get the seat out. All just to get to your factory harness. And then you have to unplug that and plug in the charger. Well, try and get a little kid to do that or the wife when you're not around. Um, it's a bit difficult for them. So what I did was um, I left it plugged from the machine to the battery just like you would if you were gonna drive it, okay? And we're gonna add a 24 volt charging system into it today. So, <clears throat> you need to find, where is it? I got a mess going here. Oh, here we go. Um, a 24 volt charger. Get it off of Amazon for like 12, 13 bucks. You get a good one, that way, you know, it turns red when it's charging and green when it's not, that way you don't overdo your batteries. Um, basically, you could type in uh, Razer MX350 or E300, they all use the same 24 volt charger. And it has this, I would never screw that in because if you trip on it or something, you know you want it to pull out. Then, you buy the opposite port, which is here. And then it's got this little notch. See the notch? And the notch. So it can only go in one way. And you plug it in. And then uh, this will turn red because it's charging. And we're good. So I bought this little unit here. And you can't really see the other side of it. I actually have another one I could go dig out. Um, but basically it's just thread and a ring. So what I did was I just drilled a hole, slid this in, and I put the ring on, screwed it tight, and now it's on there. And I drilled a hole all the way through, and that brought me negative and positive wires out the back right here. And since this is a 24 volt, it's ran in series. So these are two 12 volt batteries and the machine runs, its main harness goes the negative to the negative of that battery, the positive to the positive of that battery, and then they jump from the positive to the negative here with a fuse. That's a series, it gets you 24 volts. So when we charge it, we want the negative of this charging port to go here and we want the positive to go to that one. So negative on the negative, positive on the positive. You don't do anything with these. And so you can tie it in however you want. Um, I sometimes solder and s started to do hot glue because um, heat is really not good for batteries and you'd be surprised how fast things heat up with solder unless you're really good. Um, you know, put on your connections, put them on, hot glue, and then they stay. You don't have to worry about damaging your battery. So um, now the seat can permanently stay on. And we can just plug in the side. The kids, the wife, anybody can do it. A three-year-old can plug it in and charge it. And the smart charger turns off when you're done. So um, that's, about, that's about it, really. All right, I got lots of videos on um, building uh, dirt bikes, Razor dirt bikes, and other stuff with this machine. So check them out and subscribe. Thanks, bye.